improve the safety and security of women so that they can actively participate in the labor force. Remove the penalties that discourage workers from registering into the labor force. This will increase the benefits for low-income women. Mandate for companies to examine their domestic and global supply chains to ensure that exploitative practices such as forced labor are not taking place. Provide the funds necessary to establish STEM programs in schools to encourage STEM-related careers, especially to underrepresented female population. Co-fund training in the workplace in order to combat stress and other mental health related issues that negatively impact productivity. To implement compulsory training programs in schools for students and teachers to eliminate gender and SOGI based violence. Introduce up to 50 weeks of shared parental leave to allow women more flexibility when returning to work after the birth of a child. Recognizing that climate change is gender neutral require the Ministry of Environment be gender balanced and that its policies be gender sensitive. Through subsidies and legislation, boost clean tech and women in the industry. This will simultaneously fight climate change and increase the number of women in tech. The digital divide can be reduced if governments incentivize part-time work for women in the technology sector. Empower indigenous women through multi-stakeholder partnership that combines global knowledge and local wisdom. Undertake reforms to ensure women have equal access to modern education, learning tools in accordance with national laws. Require that the seats in Parliament are an equal number of men and women by 2030. To prevent brain drain of young talented women, create gender neutral job opportunities in growth sectors. Recognize the value of art created by women and the role art plays in boosting the economy and reducing marginalization. Ease up and deregulate business registration procedures so women can start their own ventures or legalize already existing ones. Align school curriculums with market demand to solve the current mismatch between skills and available jobs. Work with schools and religious institutions to deliver financial literacy to teenage girls to prepare them to run their own businesses. Relax the criteria for visas to help female migrant entrepreneurs start their own businesses. Allocate funding for leadership training to increase the number of female politicians. Eradicate unconscious and institutional bias in the workforce through appropriate trainings and inclusive legislations. Create an independent body to investigate and penalize organizations that terminate women for voicing issues like unequal pay and harassment.